Irving ISD's annual exhibition of student art continues with the high school art show. I attended their reception and was really amazed at the amazing work these students have produced. Here are some highlights. I'm looking forward to seeing all the artwork and the different styles of drawings they've done. I love just seeing what else everybody's sort of thinking of and to get inspiration. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff, so food for thought. Just seeing everybody's artwork because I feel like if I see other people's, it like, I don't know, it makes me want to be even more creative than I already am and it inspires me. So yeah, I like to see other people's artwork. Students from Irving ISD have brought their best work of art for display and judging. And we had three judges that went through yesterday and judged all of it in the different categories. You'll see drawing and mixed media fibers. This is the painting in here and uh, we have ceramics and sculpture, digital media and photography and printmaking. The Irving Art Center has once again allowed talented students to showcase a variety of unique and fascinating pieces. It's um, a boy, he's looking towards a girl who's standing up and her foot is coming towards his face and his hand is pushing it away. It's called Pure Innocence and it's kind of dark and light like Caravaggio and I wanted to portray that in my work. The theme of the piece was a dreams piece and the dream it had to be kind of like ethereal kind of. So I had an African kind of princess holding a bowl and in the bowl there's like trees and a little bulldozer running over the trees and she's supposed to be mother nature. And so little birds are coming out of the trees as you know, nature's being wrecked. Some decided to add a personal touch to their art. I started out with a picture and then I graphed it and graphed a paper and I try to make the value work from darker pieces of newspaper to lighter pieces with back, like black backgrounds and white words for my hair and then white backgrounds with black words for my face and stuff. So I created a sculpture with um, first plastering my face and then filling it with clay after it was done setting. And um, after it was done with that, I kind of came up with the idea to do a very queen royalty-like piece. So I. Um, pretty much just sculpted around it like purple and, and things that really reminded me of like 16th century, 17th century queens. Though their ingenious ideas is how their creations begin, it's their drive that makes them great artists. You have to have an amazing work ethic. If you're willing to work at something, even if you're weak in some area, you're always going to get better because you work so hard at it that eventually that practice pays off. Seeing their students' hard work could not have made their art teachers more proud. And I had to ask them, after spending years teaching these kids, what is the most rewarding thing a student can say? Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. I'm so glad you saw that in me. You know, I love that. And it just encourages me, oh, I just want to, you know, keep, keep going. That I've had an impact on them, you know? And whether it's artistically or not, that I've had some kind of impact on them. It comes as no surprise to find out that their teaching has heavily impacted their students. Oh my gosh, she has affected me so much. She like, is just always empowering and she always has something really positive to say about everything. And she's just full of great ideas, great ways to help, and she's amazing. She's really good. She pushes you to do better and she always compliments you. Even if you don't think something's good, she finds the good in it and points it out so that you can see it too. She's made me a better artist. She's taught me new techniques and how to become more imaginative. She's just, she gives you so much room to be creative on your own. That's what, that's what you kind of have to be as an art teacher. You can't, you know, have strict set of rules because that takes all the cre creativity out of it and that's what art is, so she lets you do your own thing. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab reporting. The Irving ISD annual exhibition of student art continues with a senior portfolio show, April 23rd through May 4th, in the Irving Art Center Main Gallery. Mm -hmm.